date function that I use most often is EO month. Stands for end of month. It's very simple. Equals EO month. Open parenthesis. Select the cell. Comma zero. Will give you the serial number for the last day of that month. So we'll format that cell and we'll make it month and year. To illustrate how valuable this little formula can be, I will create a simple pivot table. We'll bring over the items, quantity, and amount. Lastly, we'll bring over the price and remove the subtotals. And we'll do a little formatting. This field, we will make it accounting. And we'll abbreviate some of these field titles. It's a little bigger. We'll call this one simply quantity. And this field, simply amount. Okay, so this gives us a summary of our entire database. But what if we want to know our totals on a monthly basis? We brought over the date that would just give us a summary per date, so that doesn't help. We'll put that back. We'll return to our spreadsheet and we'll copy down our EO month formula. We'll give it a title, we'll call it period. Return to our pivot table and expand the range using the wizard. Okay, now period is available to us. We can bring that to the top, and now we have a summary per month.